Hi, thank you for joining us. My name is Leslie Onstead. I'm the creator of Color Art Products and your host for Color Play Live three days a week, Tuesdays and Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 9 a.m. at Pacific Standard Time on Saturday. We have a fabulous lineup of videos, two-day event. What you want to do is collect the secret word or two that each artist gives you in each video. You have 12 days to watch them. Go back to our website, submit your guess at the secret, secret phrase at the link for their Winter Dreams event on the website. And you will put your name in for a chance to win a $400 shopping spree. In addition, there are individual channel prizes. What you need to do is comment below the video, not in the chat box, and we'll have your name in the drawing for a $50 prison pour set. I want to really thank you for supporting this event. This is our third year. We really appreciate you showing up. So without further ado, let's get started on the Winter Dreams event. Bye-bye. Well, let's get started with mixing up some color for this piece. So the first color I'm going to use is the Purely Pigments metal color. They're not as saturated as the pure colors. The metals, we came out with two releases, pure, pure concentrated color in the bottle. Metals has a very, it's, a, it's about as saturated as a fluid acrylic with a whole bunch of shimmer and sparkle in it. Take a look at this gorgeous green shimmer in the Cerulean Sea. This next color is Pink Paracel. It's from the Dragonfly Wing set in the Primary Elements line. I mix it with a little bit of Blue Diamond. What I'm doing now is adding a few drops of Vivid Art Fluid. Primary Elements coloring system is not directly compatible with resin, so the Art Fluid, what it does is it dissolves that color so we can blend it in. So I'm choosing to mix the resin directly into my pink parasol mixture. Much easier than trying to scrape the pink out of the cup and get it into the resin. So one of my all-time favorite resin art colors is called Delphinium. It's got this beautiful blue-violet cast to it. Now if you notice the resin art, it has a wetting agent on it that when we mix the powders up, we, we coat it with this wetting agent so as it hits the resin, notice how it dissolves like butter. Here is another resin art color called Aquamarine. It is a gorgeous teal. Looks like it's got a lot of interference green sparkle in it. Now to deepen my aquamarine, I'm going to add a couple drops of a color called Vibrant Aqua. It is a purely pigment, pure color from Color Art. Well, one of my all-time favorite golds from our Bling It Pure Minerals lines is the Golden Maple. Be careful though when you're folding it in. This color doesn't have that wetting agent on it like the resin art, and so the powder can poof up really easily if you're not really careful how you mix it in. Thank you. 
Now let's deepen that golden maple color just a little bit by adding a couple drops of nickel azul gold from our Vivid Intense Flute Acrylic line. Okay, now we're ready to put down the color, but the first thing we're going to do is lightly lubricate our board with just a little bit of clear resin. Okay, now I'm laying down small strips of color of the delphinium, the aquamarine, the cerulean blue, and the pink parasol with a little bit of a deep blue color from a company called Illuminite, which is just going to give us a matte deep blue. So here in this step, I have some of the white Illumilite put on my piece of acetate and I'm going to swipe over the colors or part of the colors I just laid down. Now I'm warming the color with my heat gun to make it easily spread. In this next couple sections, we're just going to show you laying the color down, heating it, spreading it. Laying the color down, heating and spreading it while there's some music going on. Hope you enjoy.
All right, now that we've got all our blues and purples and pinks spread around, let's add some of these gold highlights. I'm going to start by kind of doing some stringing of gold around, adding little veins. Here I'm just kind of checking all my areas, making sure the color is spread around. Is it even in the corners? I mean, resin is self-leveling, but we don't want to leave obvious pockets of color missing on our board. Okay, everyone, it's time for the secret word. Be sure to write this down. The secret word is the, T-H-E, the. Make sure to write all the words down over the next two days and get your submission in so you can win that $400 shopping spree. So now we're in the decorative stage of this piece and I'm going to use clear resin to create texture by putting raindrops or water droplets in different sections. Now what happens is, is when you put the clear resin down it pushes the existing color down. They kind of go in different, different heights which creates a really cool texture underneath. If your droplets cross over two different colors it can create like a double shift or triple shift as you turn your canvas because it's pushing and pulling that colored resin underneath. And then one of the cooler techniques in the center here, uh, if you start putting colors with interference and then the interference sparkle and diamond on top, you can create some really cool opal drop effects. I promise I'll be doing more and more of this technique in the future because it's kind of my jam. Here in this section, as I promised, it may be a little bit hard to see, but I mixed up some of the interference sparkle uh, violet and added the drops on top of the clear drops and droplets in that pink center section. Um, hopefully in the dried results, you'll be able to get to see the uh, impact of what this violet has done to our piece.
Well, here we are. Here's the wet result. It's going to take 24 hours to get the dry results to you. So uh, before we leave, I wanted to thank you for joining us and supporting our event. I can't believe this is our third year doing these quarterly events. Uh, congratulations to whoever the winner of this the uh, shopping spree. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. And also, I just want to remind you that you can see me night. You can see me live three days a week, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday for color play live color mixing classes. Have a good day, and I hope you enjoy our event. Bye bye. Here's we're flipping the camera here. Give me a flip of the camera. So here was Tuesday's resin piece. you can really see where I dropped the clear. This was the uh, nickel wazzle gold mixed with some of the golden maple. That color was put down. And then when I put clear resin on top, it created look like these stepping stones in there, right? And uh, I did the same thing in the center. People didn't want me. There's this tree formed somewhere in the pink. It went out. And so they told me not to touch the tree. In the center, it wasn't just clear. And I don't know if I turn it at the right angle. Can you see some of that sparkle violet? The, uh, this almost has this, because we did two on top of one another, this starts to create like an opal effect. But here's something interesting, okay? I kept talking about how much I love putting clear down. Now here, I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it, but right along here where the clear hit this delphinium and the cerulean blue, if I turn this just ever so slightly, you're gonna notice that the clear pushes down the color and creates this triple shift thing that's happening. It's happening here, it's happening right on this edge in the turquoise when I turn it, I know there's a glare from the light because it's resined. There's this extra shift that's happening when I tilt it back and forth. And that's that effect that putting this clear down, now it spread a little bit more than I'd wanted. Uh, the golden maple is a pretty good size. It's a medium particulate, like the size of the sparkles. And so I, in hindsight, had I used a fine along with it, I might have had more definition. Now this would be a piece I would think about painting over some. And I don't mean ruining it. People were asking me if I could put in uh, white contrast lines, veining, uh, probably with white, but maybe using my, the, now, any of the vivid intents that start with the word titan, that means they're mixed in titanium dioxide. So we have the titan teal. We have the titan blue, which actually looks like a periwinkle. I love this. I'm in love with that color. And then we have the titan peach, okay? And they are a white-based, but if I wanted to do white or simulate something that was going to pop like the white on top of this... I might use that. Now, painting on top of resin's a little bit trickier. I'll be honest, it's probably something I might wanna play with off camera and just take my real meticulous time to think about this and how I'd wanna do this to make this stuff pop and come forward. The beautiful thing with resin is you can keep going layer over layer over layer over layer over layer. But these colors were phenomenal. The purely pigment metallics right there, that cerulean blue. This is more of that cerulean blue. Sorry, I know I'm moving a little fast here. Sorry, try to get this light in here. The cerulean blue right here is that purely pigment metallic cerulean blue just mixed straight in the resin, nothing else. And I like how I dribbled it on here and got that vein down here. I'm loving how the metallics are mixing with the resin art.